Alright, welcome back to another episode of Rock Cake and Rutabex's... <laughs> Power Gamer's Guide to Minecraft. Uh, anyway, uh, by popular demand, we have done a bit of the boring ass grinding first, and mined out a lot of the resources that we came by on the way down here. Though we did leave the juiciest bit diamond. We did not uh, miss the diamond. We was mining out this area around here and this diamond seems to be completely surrounded by lava. So we need to figure out a way to deal with that. Fortunately, found a whole mess of iron, which we made some buckets out of. Dig this diamond out. Freezing all the lava. Now if you pour it directly on, you can ensure when you mine it out, that even if there is lava beneath it, it will be it will freeze before it has a chance to destroy the diamonds. Not quite enough for a pick. Uh, we'll just get them back. <coughs> yeah, you always want to get your diamonds back into a chest immediately. Because you never know when you're going to fall into something or a creeper is going to be just around the corner. This is why you want to dig down as soon as possible. Found diamonds, iron, gold, and redstone all in the same area. There's some obsidian there. I have enough diamonds now that I can make a diamond pick. Mine that out. That would take a long time and be really boring. that we can mine out obsidian. But, in case we weren't able to get the obsidian, the uh, 
at the diamond pick. I managed to get these 10 lava buckets for what I was planning right over there in the corner, if you'd noticed. Because you need exactly 10 lava buckets to make 10 obsidian to make a portal to the nether to avoid having to um, having to take a long time to mine out obsidian all you have to do is pour a mold and then freeze it in place like that you just break it apart with a shovel portal's complete. Note, you do not need to use obsidian in the corners. As long as you make a box that is 3 by 2 upright with obsidian, then you are fine. Yeah, I just needed to get a flint so I can do uh, a flint and steel you need to ignite the inside of the hell gates. I guess it's some sort of symbolic gesture. Alright. Let's see what's on the other side of the hell gates. Highly irritating. I can. See the idea in hell is to. You want to block off your initial area so that you can't be attacked by the ghasts. distances, but it doesn't help you traveling large distances if you're scared by the time you done all your traveling. I think I'm going to need more cobblestone to finish that. 
But there's one more thing that I could show you. I started a bit of a farm at the top. If you noticed in the first episode, there was a bit of a lake out there. Uh, I, my philosophy is use the terrain to your advantage. So, put a bit of a base here and. Oh, frickin' pig. <coughs> Animals all over my farm. Well, luckily I have something to deal with that now. Place these nether blocks around. Again, intimidate the animals with the power of the nether. <laughs> Nether blocks burn forever. They're like wood blocks, except they just don't go out. It is a very handy property. I'm trying to. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> That is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> 